Access Business, my name is Boni Tunya. The government is set to provide financial guarantees to road contractors seeking to secure loans from the local commercial banks to secure public projects and are implemented on time. The latest move is part of a tripartite agreement between the government, the commercial banks and the contractors aimed at delivering 10,000 kilometers of paved roads in the country in the next five years. At a cost of 260 billion shillings, here is KTN's Philip Keitani. Contractors for years have cried fall over the government's inability to settle their dues on time that is hurting their business cash flow. This has in turn seen many of these contractors fail to deliver projects on time due to lack of funds as banks also give them a cold shoulder. But under the new annuity framework, the government will guarantee contractors loans from banks ensuring they have funds available for their projects. We also have the legal framework, PPP legal framework in place. The government has approved several projects that range from the ports, roads, expansion, energy developments, irrigations, housing constructions uh, to major ICT facilities to be delivered by the private sector. Your Excellency, this is a paradigm shift and very many people are having to make adjustments. The engineers included, I'm one, where now the engineer and the contractor are partnering. The president says the collaborative effort between the government financials and road contractors is a sure and proven way of delivering roads to all Kenyans. Kenya has only 14,000 kilometers of paved roads with infrastructure development viewed as key to speeding up economic growth. The vision behind our infrastructure drive is to make Kenya a low-cost investment and trading destination. The president was speaking during the launch of the annuity framework for financing road construction. The government plans to use a similar model in big ticket infrastructure projects to lure private sector players into financing key projects. We expect therefore to see intensive road construction going on in every single corner of our republic. The president also lamented that a combination of factors have held back the country's infrastructure transformation agenda, including, among others, lack of inadequate financing from the government, high construction cost, and inadequate capacity among the contractors to undertake mega-projects. Philip Keitan, KTN Business.